main points of investigating are the same, no matter what subject you're looking into. And that is to be intensely curious and to be very skeptical. So to not take things at face value. If somebody in, a, in, a, in an official position says something, it doesn't mean it's true. And so what I always do, if I read the newspaper or, or I see somebody quoted, a minister of health, for example, I'm always thinking, where did they get those figures from? Um, wh where does this policy or these facts, this supposed fact, come from? And, and so if you're starting to think about FOIs, Freedom of Information requests, it's, it's, it's a way to go beyond um, and, and dig into what, what people in authority have said. So it, it's a way to look at the actual uh, facts, um, whether it's about um, if you're looking into uh, malpractice at a hospital, for example, or a patient who thinks that there's um, things going on in a hospital that they're not clean enough or there's a surgeon who's not not up to scratch and they're dangerous. Well, how, how can you document that? And it's about getting this actual sort of official documentation. That's what FOI is for, mostly. It's about getting the official records in your hand. Um, because the reason they're so powerful is because you're basically, you're, you're putting yourself on an even playing field with, with the institution. You know, you're not coming at it from this um, ignorant position where they have all the facts and you have none, and you're trying to have a, you know, you're trying to have a discussion with them, but you're doing it in total darkness. And so, with the FOI, it's about trying to level that playing field, getting some of the same material that they have for yourself.